Another common feature of funk bass lines is the use of the octave, which looks like this. Now, the bass line is going to go E, and then a C sharp, which is the sixth, then D, which is the seventh, and then back to E, which is the root note again. And then I'm going to go and do a fast trill on a G note like this. It goes like this. Two, three, four. Now, the bass takes lines which are based on the blues scale. In E, that would be E, G, A, B, and D. I'm now going to play a riff just using the notes from the blues scale. Up to now, Henry's been showing you what you can do with the left hand, but the bass technique crucial to funk is the slap which is done with the right hand. And the man who turned the slap into a major funk style was Larry Graham. Actually, it started uh, with Sly and the Family Stone. Um, before uh, then, there really was no thumping, uh, uh, plucking, or syncopated uh, uh, bass style because I was the one that started doing it. But it wasn't popular before the first hit record. And the first time I got to uh, thump on one of his records was a tune called Dance to the Music. And I got a chance to thump like this. Uh, uh. And then, uh, after that was a success, uh, we went back in the studio and uh, cut a song called Thank You for Letting Me Be Myself. It was you know, it was kind of our way of thanking the people uh, for that hit. And uh, I got a chance to thump and plug, okay? And uh, that was kind of like this. One, two, three, uh. <laughs> Notice how the drum kind of like complements the bass lick. Three, uh. went back in the studio and, uh, and I got a chance to thump one time on a song called Everyday uh, People where I thought I would try something new. Uh, I would just thump the whole song without really changing up any notes at all. Uh, and it went it was something like this. Three, uh... <laughs> the uh, rhythm is really being carried by the bass and then the drum really complements that again just like in the other song like just bass and then the drums complement it now what Tony is playing is actually different than what was on the record but because of his style of playing, it is still a compliment. Three, four. And there you have it. So how do you slap? Well, this is the secret. It comes from the thumb bone, the magical thumb bone. And what you do is you strike the string against the fingerboard and then move away, allowing the string to vibrate. Make sure that the movement is from the thumb and keep the wrist and forearm totally relaxed. You should hear a click followed by a clear bell-like tone. It would sound like this. Now, if you don't hear that tone, it could be a few reasons. One of them might be you're moving the wrist and forearm together and hitting the bass and deadening it, or you might be hitting the string and then not moving away quick enough. So a click like this. Now the second part of the sound is to curl the first and second finger underneath the top string, like this, 
and then pluck away from the bass, making sure you don't move your hand away, like this. One, two, one, two, one, two. When you can do those two things, listen to bass drum patterns. Try and copy them with the thumb, like this. Now, once you've got the bass drum, see if you can add the snare. The pull goes on the snare beats. Listen carefully. Now, once you can do that, try and do a fast trill or a hammer-on with a snare beat like this. So if you want to get fancy and put the left hand together with the right, you could do something like this. Now we've only given you a basic outline in a music that's really strong on rhythm and rich in texture. Now at best it should be great to listen to, to dance to and to play. Now all we can do is try and point you in the right direction for your own sound. But remember, it's not so much the technique that matters as the feel. So take it from Bootsy. Uh. Right. One more time. Uh. Right. <laughs> 